Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this very interesting tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to display top five products and the remaining products categorize that as others. Exactly what I have over here. My slider here is set at five and you're seeing five top products of each category here. If you see here, there are five products, top products of of furniture category and the rest of the products here are classified as others and the respective sales amount is being displayed here. Likewise, you will see here for technology, you will see what are your top five selling products and the balance or the remaining products classified as others. And you can simply play around with this particular slider to display now only top three products for every category. So let's get started with this tutorial. Please make sure that you follow each and every step that I am showing you in this particular tutorial. If you miss any one of the step, you will not be able to achieve the results. So let's get started. The first thing that I'll be doing here is I will go to the modeling tab here and click on new table. And I'm going to call this table as a uh, product. Let me just, I'm going to call this table as products is equals to I'm going to use the union function here and say distinct of product name. Okay, that's my one of the table comma. And then my second table here is going to be data table. The table name is going to be the column name of my product name, that which is product name. Okay, then I'm going to close the bracket quote here comma type here it's going to be string let me just bring this to the next line here so that it's more readable comma and what do i want i want others so i'm going to open two curly brackets here and then type in others close the code with double curly bracket close the bracket close the bracket and press enter so basically what this has done is it has created a new table here called as products with all the product names that I have in my table, distinct product names in my table and along with a product name which is called as others. So if I look for others here, that is what I have here. I have added manually into this particular table. Okay. And now the next step here for us is to join these two tables here. So I'm going to take the product name from my orders table and join this with the products table that we just created. So make sure this is one to many relationship. Okay, now let's come back over here and now let's create a what if parameter, a slider which will basically help us choose the number of products we want to display. So I'm going to click on new parameter here and I'm going to call this as slider for now. It's going to be a whole number. Minimum needs to be one and increment is one maximum of let's say about five. Okay, default stays at let's say two or three products. Okay, add slicer to page. So you will see a new slicer being added here onto the page. And uh, let's move this around. So you can move this slider one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we will have this slider. Uh, okay, now we have our slider. We've created a new table for products. Now let us start with creating our measure. So the, the measure that we will be creating here is let's call this as top n and others. We will define a variable here. Let's call this as top products. Okay, is equals to let us identify our top n products. It's asking me to enter the n value here. This is going to be the value of our slider. Okay, slider dot value comma and then I'm going to say all selected from the products table all selected from products okay close the bracket comma order by expression here is going to be total sales okay I'm going to close the bracket here let's let me quickly move this to the next line so that it's more readable okay we've now identified the top three products now let us identify the sales for these particular products. So I'm going to call this as top prod sales is equals to, I'm going to say calculate total sales, calculate total sales, comma, keep filters of my top products table. Okay. 
then I'm going to close the bracket, close the bracket again. And then now we are calculating the sales for the top prod, top products. Okay. Now let us calculate the sales for the other products. We will say other prod sales is equals to calculate total sales comma all selected from products table okay all selected from products table and then we're going to say minus calculate let me bring this to the next line here minus calculate total sales comma filter by the products that we have over here which is top products okay then i'm going to close the bracket here now we will define another variable to check if others is selected i'm going to say is others selected is equals to selected value from my products table product name okay i'm going to close the bracket here is equals to others okay and now let us work on our final thing return if others is selected and return other prod sales else return top prod sales okay then i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter so let's see what happens now and uh, let me quickly delete this and add a new table here from my product name i'm going to add this okay and then add the top n and others value that we just created so as you can see here our slider is set at three now and we can see that our top three products are being displayed which is exactly what we have here gbc fellows and canon and we have another column here called as others being displayed with that particular respective value and if i move this slider to let's say five i will see five products being displayed over here one two three four five and the remaining products classified as others and let's say you add uh, category to this and you add category above over here and under furniture you will see the top two products that we have and then the others the top two products under office supplies and then the others so this is a very interesting thing to have incorporated into your dashboard to look at your top five products and then look others as another uh, uh, category in itself right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials